Okay, so now we're going to try to overwrite the EIP. So in the last video, we discovered that the offset was at 2003 bytes. What that means is there's 2003 bytes right before you get to the EIP, and then the EIP itself is four bytes long. So what we're going to try to do is overwrite those four specific bytes. So as always, go ahead and get your immunity debugger running with Voln server attached. When you have that, let's go ahead and hop right into Kali Linux. This should be a pretty short video. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just g-edit the last script that we wrote, which was 2.py. And we're going to modify this together. So what we can do here is we can just delete this offset variable because we don't need that anymore. And instead, we can just write shellcode here. And we'll switch out this offset variable to shellcode. And then let's go ahead and set this equal to a times 2003 plus b times 4. So let's make sense of this real quick. We're replacing what we sent before to find the offset with the shell code. Now the shell code is nothing but A's and B's right now, but it's going to get malicious in a minute. So what we're doing here is we're sending 2003 A's. Why? Because that's where the EIP starts. So byte 2004 starts the EIP. So what we're doing is we're sending a bunch of A's, but we want to make sure that we don't overwrite the EIP with A's and have no idea if we're correct or not. So remember, A's are four ones, B's is gonna then be four two. So in theory, we should see four two, four two, four two, four two on the EIP when we overwrite it. So let's go ahead and just fire this guy off. I'm gonna save this, and you could save it as dot three if you want. I'm just gonna keep it dot two to make it simple. And then what we're gonna do is 2.py, remember if you did make it a new file, go ahead and change the mode. And since we have Voln server running and attached to immunity debugger, we should just be able to fire this guy off. And it should break the program. So we have pause down here, access violation, great. Okay, so let's talk about what happened here. So you see the EAX, Trun ran through, bunch of A's, we're used to seeing that, EBP, 401, 401, 401, 401, good, came through. But look here, the EIP is 42424242. Now we only sent four bytes of Bs and they all landed on the EIP. Guess what? That means we control this EIP now. So from here, it's pretty smooth sailing. We got a couple of housekeeping things we got to do in terms of finding bad characters and finding the right module to send this to. But once we do that, we're going to generate some shell code. We're going to point this EIP here instead to that return address that's going to be malicious, and then we're going to gain root. So hopefully this makes sense. Again, just to reiterate, we have controlled the EIP, and now we're going to start to get malicious. So in the next video, we're going to talk about finding bad characters.